Hi, I'm Kayla the booktube turtle and it's been a minute since I made a YouTube video. <laughs> So I took a little unexpected break from YouTube, no particular reason, I just like did not film anything or edit anything or post anything for almost the entire month of April, but it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> We're getting back on track today um, and so for this video I'm going to be doing my March wrap up even though it's late. <laughs> So I read four books in March. The first was Dark Rise by C.S. Packett. I gave this book five stars. I absolutely loved it. It follows a teenage boy named Will who is on the run from the people who killed his mother. And in this world, magic used to be a thing, but it was a long time ago. It's basically forgotten by this point, except for a faction of people who are trying to prevent the Dark King from returning and there's another group of people who are trying to bring him back and these people are all aware of magic and are able to use magic so Will becomes caught up in all of this while he's on the run and discovers that he's connected to the old world his mother was caught up in all of these things before she died so there's a lot of questions, stuff that he's trying to figure out um, there's a lot of plot twists, a lot of like fantastic plot twists this is not the best description, which like, what a surprise. I'm, I'm not good at this. Um, but the book was really, really good. And honestly, I feel like it's kind of best to go in not knowing too, too much about what exactly is going on. Next book I read was Dessa Kincaid by R.S. Penny. I gave this book three stars. I was given a copy of this book in exchange for reviews on Amazon and Goodreads. It is about a young woman who is hunting a dangerous man with plans to destroy the world um, and she meets up with some other people along the way and they all kind of, you know, form this group. Um, and there is a kind of magic system, but they don't consider it magic. They consider it more a combination of science and technology. Um, but it's basically they get their powers from like the ether um so that's a thing and yeah overall i it was an okay book for me um the pacing was very slow and it dragged a lot and so that kind of kept pulling me out of the story because it just felt slow a lot of the time um, but i did enjoy the characters overall um and like the magic was really interesting um, but then I also had a lot of issues with some stuff throughout the book so yeah it was it was a very mixed mixed feelings on this book the next book I read is An Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir I give this book five stars it was really 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 good I have been wanting to read this book it's been on my list for years and I just like never got around to it until recently and it was actually not anything like what I thought it was going to be. Like, I don't know what I thought this book was about for several years, but it wasn't, it wasn't what it was. <laughs> um, so it's told in dual perspective between these two characters, Leia and Elias. And in this world, everything is super controlled. The government is, you know, very controlling over everything that's going on. So people just really try to keep their heads down. Don't do anything that's going to attract attention. Um, but at the start of the story, Leia's brother is arrested for treason and that's where things kind of start rolling um, because she seeks out this resistance group for help. And so they agree to help her save her brother if she goes, if she works for them as an undercover spy in this academy that the government uses to train kids into soldiers for them. And that's where Elias is because he is in this academy being trained as a soldier, um, which he doesn't want and he very much wants to escape and leave this place and make it to um, the free lands where the government is not in control. However, before he can get out, he gets caught up in these trials to determine who the next emperor will be and things just get messy for him from there. This book, like I said, was so good. It's very brutal, 
there's a lot of manipulation, a lot of gaslighting, a lot of secrets, a lot of betrayals, plot twists. It's really, really good and complex. Um, I really enjoyed the world and the characters and just this general story. I will say check like trigger warning, content warning type things because there were some moments in this book that it was oh, it was a lot. <laughs> so just be aware. There's a lot of extreme violence, a lot of like I said, the manipulation, gaslighting, sexual assault. There is it's a lot in some places, so be aware of that. <laughs> the final book I read in March was How the King of Elfheim Learned to Hate Stories by Holly Black, and I gave this five stars. This is a novella collection thing of short stories from Cardin's perspective from the Folk of the Year trilogy, my fave. And it's like little short stories from before, during, and after the events of the original trilogy. I had a lot of fun reading it. It was really cool to experience things from Cardin's POV, um, both like new things and stuff from the like original series that we saw from Jude's perspective and like then getting to see it from Cardin's perspective. Um, honestly, I just want more Cardin. Like I would read a whole other book with Cardin as the perspective. Um, so yeah, it was it was really fun to read and if you enjoyed the original trilogy, I definitely recommend reading this. In March, I finished my first draft for Beyond the Dark. I was working on this thing for so long. It really wasn't though. I think it ended up being like five months, which is normal for a first draft for me. It just felt like it was forever. <laughs> But I was really like, okay, we're gonna focus on writing this month, we are gonna finish. I was very determined. Um, and then I was able to complete it, which was really great. The draft is an absolute mess. It is a disaster, but it's there. It exists. And that all that, that's, that's all that matters. So now I can start making notes for draft two and figuring out everything that I want to fix and how I want to fix it. It's a lot. There's a lot that needs to help. <laughs> But I'm hoping to take care of that and then I can start working on the second draft, which will hopefully be a lot smoother. <laughs> In March, I took a trip with a group of friends, which was really, really exciting. It was the first trip I ever went on that was like a friend group thing, um, you know, that was like multiple days. So that was like a really, really great experience. We went to Red River Gorge and we hiked and we spent a lot of time in the cabin's hot tub <laughs> and it was just a really great time and it was nice to just kind of take a break for a while especially because I had been super stressed and anxious not because of the trip but just like other stuff I was dealing with so it was nice to just take a break and hang out with people uh speaking of the stress a lot of that was this whole coaching thing that I've been doing and trying to build up my business it was very up and down in February and March um but towards the end of March, it did start to kind of level out and feel a bit more solid, so that's good. Um, and I might like make a separate video on my experiences with starting this business and trying to get things off the ground, because I feel like I've learned a lot <laughs> in these first few months of the year. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm just you know doing everything I can with that, and it's it's getting better. <laughs> So yeah, that was my March. Um, let me know what books you read in March and anything else that happened. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.